Hi, this is Jody from Poppy Winkle, and today I'm going to show you how to make these pretty journal pages using watercolor. Now, I'm brand new at watercolor, like two days I've been using it. And these were super easy and super fast to make. And then I'm going to show you how to scan them and keep them. So then you can use them over and over and over again. You just have to make them once and then you can use them as many times as you want because you've made a copy. So let's do it. So I just want to show you what prompted this whole escapade is this Christmas gift I received from my daughter. Very generous. It's lovely. A Windsor and Newton cotton Cotman watercolor travel set, 24 pieces. I'll put a link to it in the description. I have never had real watercolors before, and I just cannot tell you <laughs> what a joy these are. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so here's the kit, and each little each little pot of color comes like this with the name on it. I know you can't read it, but it says cadmium red hue. And they fit right in there. And you have to unwrap them all. And then here is this palette. Oh, two palettes. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. There's two of them. Oh, I only used one. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> and it comes with a paintbrush. And... I will show you later how I use it, but I just wanted to show you this kit before I destroy it with all my, my workings. So, very cool. This is how I've been setting up my palette. I add water to this bigger part, and then I take a small brush, a wet brush, and I put it on the paint and kind of juice it up. And the reason I'm using a small brush is because that's all there's room for. Like when I'm making when I'm making the papers, I'm gonna I've not used this yet. I've not tried any of these, but I'm gonna want a bigger brush because I'm trying to cover an eight and a half by eleven or even bigger piece of paper. But that brush is not gonna fit in this tiny spot. So I use this little brush and just kind of juice up the color. And I'm going for a celestial kind of evening sky look. So I used three blues and a purple. And so I just keep doing that with that juicy paint and then I just pull it off as best I can and then stick that in a thing of water. So my palette's all set up with four different colors, light to dark, because that's how I like to work. I like to start with light and then go darker. And I want to make something that I can cut long lengthwise and make kind of like washi strip, um, I don't know, embellishments, just thin things. So I want I want the stripes to go this way. So when I cut, this whole thing is striped. So that's what I'm thinking of for this little particular thing. I'm gonna start with a very large, I've never tried this, wet brush. And I'm just going to put wet down on parts of the paper. Not all of it, just slop on some wet. And then I'm going to start with the lightest. And I go in here where I put my pigment and then I like to add a little water to it. And then so here you can see this is the white, this is the wet part. And then here, well maybe it doesn't look so different. <laughs> But anyway, when you use a big brush, it makes it makes a great difference because it's just so fast. 
it's fast and we're not painting you know landscapes or flowers or anything I'm not there yet I'm just new to this and so I'm going to do one color and then I'm going to do all the rest of the colors so here I am I've done one two three of the colors and this is a a crappy brush like <laughs> I think this is for staining furniture or something I don't know it's just something I had but look here look at that nice stripe so you know I'm I'm kind of having fun with that but anyway here's the last one here's the purple so I get it on the brush I get a little water on it and who knows what's going to happen. It's fast. This big brush makes it fast. And I like that. I like that. I'm not an artist. And if I could make something kind of cool in a quick fashion. Oh, look there. It happened again. Oh, it's there. Ah, see? Crappy brush. Yay, crappy brush. <laughs> yeah. So have fun with it. And then I'll show you what I do with this later. So I'm going to try to kind of recreate this, except I want to do it darker because I've noticed when I scan it into my printer, which is, I'll show you how to do that, or I'll tell you how to do that. Um, it gets lighter on mine. So I'm going to try to go for a little darker thing. And it's very similar to what I did, but I'm going to show you how I made these spots. So starting here, I've already globbed some on accidentally, but that's okay because it's watercolor. It's easy. It's fun. I'm going to take my big brush, starting again from the light to the dark. So this is the lightest. Yeah, it's not very much darker. I need to use less water to make darker pigment. But see how fast it is with a big brush? Now this would be good for a journal page, you know, that you're going to fold in half and then and then all the lines are going to go horizontally. I like that look. And here's the cool thing about watercolor. See how dark that was? You just add some water. <laughs> you add some water and it goes away. So any mistakes are just temporary. There's another couple of things you can do. To pull up color to get rid of too much color you can take a paper towel or something paper towel tissue and just blot it I mean I don't really want to do that here but it does work see that pulls the color away so if you were like going for like clouds or something that pulls the color away, which is cool. Somehow I got purple on there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with these colors. So the technique I used to do this one, I'm gonna show you, but I just wanted to show you this. I had, I had wet parts of it and not wet other parts of it. And so when I splattered, like I'm going to show you, these ones hit the wet and expanded, and these ones hit the dry and stayed. So that's the difference between doing this technique on dry and doing it on wet. So lots, lots of fun things to experiment with.
So I'm going to try this. My daughter also gave me some glitter. Glitter watercolors or metallic? I don't know. I've never tried them. I just opened it. And I'm using this big fan brush because it's, and is this wet? Yeah, that's still wet. Who knows? Who knows what's happening? Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so it's not super, it's not super wet, but it's certainly not dry. But just banging it around, that's kind of definitely going for the celestial look. I need some more, but that's how I did the splatters. So after I've made the pages and they're dry, and then I've made a bunch of them, um, I put them into my printer and I scan them. Now, if you don't have a scanner, all you need to do is copy them and just make as many prints as you want. But I scan them so I don't have to copy them right away. And I just have this scan ready whenever I want the pages. And so here they are. They do change a little bit of color. This is totally gonna depend on your printer. Mine get just a little duller, but that, scanned to this, this scanned to this, this scanned to this. And so now I have all these pages whenever I want to make a junk journal and I want some funky watercolor in blues, I'm going to store them all together kind of in, in one file because they do go together because I used all the same color. And this turned to this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these pages and I'm going to embellish it further. I'm going to sew on it. I'm going to add stuff. And then I'm going to take a picture of that as well. So I'm going to have all these backgrounds just ready to go. Here's where it starts getting fun. I made a copy of this one. I made a print of it from my scan and then I took this one, the original that I had painted and I used decorative scissors to cut around the edge and then I sewed those edges I made that I cut out, I sewed them onto the print. And so here's a nice page to use in my journal. However, before I use it, I'm going to take a scan of this as well. So then I have this to use whenever I want. And so I could decorate a little more and then take another scan. So it kind of, it kind of can go on. So that's the fun part. So I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.